All right, here we go. Dang it. Hey guys, we're here to go over a question that we see a lot. What do you do with your firearm and your holster if you're using a public restroom in the stall? There are a lot of articles, a lot of videos on this, so here's another one. The first thing I will say is that there are ways to do this and there are ways not to do this. Um, some people will offer their advice and say, oh, just do this, pull your pants down, take the gun out of the holster and put it in, you know, the, the little hammock that you're creating there. Tip number one is keep the firearm holstered, period. There is no reason to unholster your firearm. And along those lines, you shouldn't be putting your firearm anywhere that you don't have 100% control over that firearm. This includes places like the back of the toilet, sitting on top of it, on top of the TP dispenser. You get the idea. Another tip is try to get a corner stall. If the stall panels, the walls are higher than usual, um, if you're in a corner stall, you only have one side to worry about where someone may potentially see your firearm. Now, if you're in a place like Walmart, for example, uh, what you can do, what's a good idea, is to use a family restroom if you want. Those are usually located at the back of the store and you go in and it's only you. You lock the door behind you and you can do whatever you want. You have free reign. Nobody's gonna see it as long as that door is locked. Oh, hey guys. Yeah, I got chicken legs, I know. Okay, so we're gonna pretend that I'm sitting on the toilet. Sitting on toilet. Sitting on toilet. Now, in a public restroom, first off, I don't like putting my pants all the way down like they are right now, because if anything is kind of hanging over the side, it's gonna touch the floor, and they're usually gross, so I don't do that. What I will recommend is don't pull your pants all the way down. Keep them around your knees. Pull them up a little bit. Now here we have a Glock 23 inside of an Alien Gear holster that I have not removed. And we're not in frame here. Now we have a Glock 23 here in an Alien Gear holster that's still attached just like it was when I put it on this morning. Now here's where the problem comes in. People say, why would I do that? How am I gonna keep everything up? It's really simple. You can do this one of two ways. You can either button the pants and then you can just push, push out on both sides. Keep the tension there. It's going to keep the firearm up. It's not going to go anywhere. If you don't want to do that because you might stretch out the pants, loop the belt right there. Perfect. Done. Firearm's not going to go anywhere as long as you are putting that tension on both sides here. And then you can go about your business. The firearm is right where you need it. It's not gonna drop, it's not gonna fall down. You have really nothing to worry about. I have seen people suggest that you drop everything and then you fold the firearm in or over and sometimes even flip the whole thing upside down. If you do that, now it's gonna be pointing up. That's not a great position to have your firearm. And then other people We'll take the entire rig out, which makes it necessary to remove and then put it back in, but that's besides the point. And then set it right there, okay? So that looks nice and that's great, but if you have the panels on either side of you that don't go down to the ground or they're pretty high up, which a lot of public restrooms, let's face it, that's how they are. Uh, somebody looking over or just glancing over, I don't know why they do that to begin with, but they may have the opportunity to see your firearm sitting there and it's not a good position for anybody to be in for numerous reasons. And then if you take the firearm out and then face it the back or wherever, you're not going to face it forward, but if you face it back, you can see the problems that you have here. It can easily fall off of there. Uh, you have to be very careful of the movements that you make, and it's just something that is not recommended. Keep it holstered. That's the safest place for it. You're gonna have, you should have a holster with retention. You should have a holster that's gonna keep it in there, and 
you're not going to have any problems. Another point to be made here is to always make sure that you know where your firearm is pointing. The four rules of gun safety do not change if you're sitting in a stall doing your business. If your firearm is with you, the rules apply. And since you have a firearm, if you're in a public bathroom, take your time. Drop the pants, make sure that everything is in a good spot, it's not going to get caught up on anything, and take your time pulling them back up. You don't want anything to get caught. It shouldn't if you're keeping the firearm holstered, but you just want to make sure. There's really no rush with this, unless you just had Taco Bell or some really bad sushi. But seriously, with the whole taking your time thing, make sure the holster isn't flopping around, make sure that it's secured, tight, and it's not going to go anywhere. Now let's get a little personal here. If you are a hover over the toilet to wipe kind of person, make sure you're paying particular attention to where your firearm is as you're doing your little hover maneuver. If you're not careful to keep that tension there with your knees like I showed in the demonstration, you could have a flip-flop of your holster 180 degrees and then depending on the retention, you could have your firearm dropped on the floor and then you might have some problems. You could have a damaged firearm. Someone could see it drop. Seriously, take the extra time, know what your rig is doing and be mindful of what it's doing at all times. Or just wear adult diapers when you go out. 